Okay, so just a second ago we learned how to plot this uh, set of data, which we did in the statistics area right here. Um, now we need to fit a linear regression line to it. We need to find the equation of that line, and the calculator can do all of that for you. So here's what we need to do. We're going to go back into statistics, except this time, rather than edit our data, which has already been filled in, we're going to hit the right button here and go to the calculate menu. And in the calculate menu, you're going to see option number four, which is right here, is linear regression. So I'm going to hit enter. When I hit enter, it comes up with this. And if you don't hit anything else, if you just hit enter again, it'll bring up values right here. And so rather than say y equals mx plus b, it does y equals ax plus b. Same thing. A is your slope, so we have a slope of 0.711. We have a y-intercept of 0 0.025. So if I wanted to write these down, which might not be a bad idea, I have y is equal to 0.711x plus 0 0.025. The calculator tells me these are the values that we want. I know it's hard to see the calculator right now, so I'll move that white thing. But we've just fit a line to our data. Now, if we want to go and check it, what we can do is we can go back into we can go back into our y equals mode. Okay, we can go back into y equals, and we. Gotta love the light timers in here. Okay, so we can go back in. We can do y equals. Let's type in the 0.711x plus 0.025, and let's graph it. And what you notice is that, hey, that's a pretty good fit, isn't it? Okay. Now, the other thing that we had on here, I'm going to get out of here. Notice the other thing we had on here is the r value. And notice how close the r value is to 1, 0.989. That's really high. And what that r value tells us is if it's close to 1, that means that this line that we have right here, the line that we have fits the points that we plotted pretty well. And obviously you can look at that and you can say, you know what, yeah, that's, that's a pretty good fit. So it matches up with exactly what we're thinking. Now, if you don't have that R squared value on and the R value on, stick around for the next video and I'll, I'll show you how to turn the R value on.